Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. So, if you guys have been following along on my YouTube channel, you will know that this lovely lady here is my fabulous sister, Erica. Hi everyone, how's it going? Also known as Esoterica. Erica, you wanna give the viewers a little rundown about what you do, why you're so awesome, and why you're <laughs> visiting this weekend? I live in Toronto full time, and I work for the coolest natural skincare company. It's a really great modern apothecary called Leaves of Trees. So um, it's really awesome. <laughs> right over there. <laughs> How convenient. Um, so yeah, it's really great. I do a little bit of everything for the company, working in their retail space, doing a little bit of social media strategy, a little bit of production of our products. Um, and everything is made in a small batch, handcrafted by us and the rest of the crew at the company. So that's really fun. I also spend a lot of time doing vegan recipes, coming up with all kinds of fun things that are healthy and fresh to eat. Awesome. So Erica is also visiting us this weekend because our uncle is visiting from Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. And I was in Toronto last week because the grand opening of Soul Cycle is oh. about to happen first week of March. Excuse me, like Friday actually. It is the first week of March, Almost, I guess. Yeah. And uh, I took my sister here and we had a blast. It, it was, was so, so much fun. fun. Like, <laughs> Like, I'm going to do a blog post on Soul Cycle, and I'm literally entitling it, I Survived a Soul Cycle Class. <laughs> it's, it's not for everybody, but it's awesome. It's quite the workout. It's heavy duty. It was so much fun, honestly. I get now why Soul Cycle has such a loyal following in the States. Yeah. It's really, it gets you hyped up, pumped up, super sweaty, or definitely oh my God. hot mess when you leave the class, but... Our instructor, Ty. Hi, Ty. Hi, Ty. We love you, Ty. Yeah, Ty's really good best. looking. Like, whoa. So sassy. <laughs> but he um, honestly got you so pumped up, and it honestly is like spinning with a little bit of soul. You leave feeling really uplifted. It's super good vibes. So we had a lot of fun, took a lot of selfies. Uh, <laughs> Uh, ate lots of great snacks. They had like greenhouse juice there, planta, had some planta, awesome like yeah. hors d'oeuvres and things. It was a really, really fun event. Uh, can I just say that I was not aware that you can do push-ups on a bike, <laughs> like while you're actually biking. I am in so much pain right now. Whoa, what a workout. But yeah, that was fun. So basically I was in Toronto. I brought Erica back with me and now she's visiting for the weekend. And you guys were... So warm and welcoming of Erica mm -hmm. during my last video of hers. Erica visits frequently enough, but yeah. we never have enough time to actually film a video. So I was making sure today that she was going to be in my latest YouTube video. So on that note, a lot of you are always commented on how awesome her hair is. So oh maybe, maybe Erica, <laughs> Erica is a naturalista. I have chemically straight hair. I do relaxers. And um, Erica a few years ago decided that is enough. I am over this. And she went natural. She's been growing out her hair now for like three years, two years. Yeah. it's um, It's been an actual hair journey. So I think the last time we talked about this, I mentioned some tips that I've been doing. Um, products you're using. Yeah. Products that I've been using. I have been trying some different things. I recently tried uh, TGIN's Moisture Rich uh, Conditioner. That's, that's thank pretty, God I'm natural. Yeah, that stuff's pretty good. Has some really good detangling. Is that the Honey Miracle Mask you use? No, it's their like daily conditioner. Okay. Um, I haven't tried the Honey Miracle Mask yet. Uh, today I tried a company called Pravana, thanks to yours truly. That had some awesome slip. I, it took takes a lot of work, guys, to get this detangled and looking a certain way. <laughs> Erica actually, right <laughs> before this video, was like, you know what? I don't actually know the last time I washed my hair. <laughs> Now, before you guys sound freaked out by that, it's just I don't need to wash it that often. Um, I really do my hair, skin, body routines 
by the season. So when summer rolls around again, I'll have to wash it more often and stuff like that. Stop. Sorry. I um, have to wash it more often, of course. I cycle all over Toronto. I, I stay really physical yeah. and active. It's just so ah, <laughs> Look, she's like hey. so buff. Uh, I don't know. It's just... Um, I try to make working out fun, guys, okay? That's the secret to working feeling out. good and looking good is to have fun with it. Stop making it punishing, just make it fun. Yeah. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Um, washing your hair. Like, like, it's no big deal. Like, yeah, I know. I it's just, it's a whole situation, too. It's like, it's not <laughs> even just like, oh, I think I'll just like wash my hair today and ooh, okay, 30 minutes later, I'm done. This is where, <laughs> this is where white people have the level up on us. Like, <laughs> I, I have to say, I have to say, it must be nice to roll out of effing bed <laughs> and just like wash your hair and let it air dry and it, it's fine. Whereas, you know, I have to work up to that. I have yeah. to work up to washing my hair, yeah. and then you've got to use like 800 products. It's like to, a state of mind. Yeah, to like mentally prepare It's a way of life. For wash. <laughs> it's a way of life. <laughs> and and you know you have to use like eight different products to make your hair shiny, manageable, yeah. detangled, and then you've got to let it air dry, possibly blow dry it, flat iron it, or roller set it, and then you've got to fix it to make it look normal. And then you got when you go to bed, you got to wrap it, you got to put oils in it. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, today it's I a used um, a sulfate, so the Pravana sulfate free um, shampoo, which is quite nice. Um, their hair mask, as well as a spray leave in conditioner. So that was, okay, three products in the shower. Don't really know how long my shower was. Don't really want to say, but it took a while just to like work the product in. I I conditioned three times. Okay? Can I can I just say my water bill goes up when Erica visits? <laughs> probably does. It's There's epic. probably an actual spike when I come to there visit. There is. Uh, <laughs> but then after that, I used some Leaves of Trees Argan Oil. I've been incorporating that into my hair routine, and I'm so... I mean, I, I obviously am biased, but I love all the products that my work puts out. But um, the Argan Oil... Well, I was just thinking, why don't you go grab the Argan Oil? Yeah. Okay. okay, we'll be back. One second. I love that one for skin and for hair. It's so lovely, has a really gorgeous, super fresh scent. Um, and then there's also the plain argan oil. So these come in like lots of different sizes that you can play around with and sample. The plain argan oil is gorgeous. All of our argan oil is actually sourced directly and fairly from a women's cooperative out in um, Morocco. Cool. And it's cold pressed and extracted by hand, so it's pretty high quality. So why why is it good for your hair? Like well, what, what like what makes what sets it apart from other oils you can get at the health food store, yeah, like so almond oil or coconut oil? What's really nice about it is that it has a really high level of antioxidants in it. Um, it absorbs really, really well, so it doesn't just sit on your skin or on your hair. I find um, its absorbability is actually quite good. And then it gives you a really nice shine without a greasy look. And I actually got this tip from one of um, the community members that came into our store. She was buying our really beautiful orange blossom argan oil. That and stuff I asked smells her, amazing. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It's very calming and soothing smelling. But she was buying it, so I asked her, hey, what are you using this for? And she's like, I use it in my hair. And I'm like, what? Tell me how you do that. Because her hair was so curly and defined. And so she said she actually uses it in her hair and then um, follows it up with like a pretty standard gel. I use Eco Styler. I think she actually did as well. So I've noticed that this is really awesome for helping to define my curls and also keep my hair really um, moisturized and hydrated. So I'm really loving this. That smells really good. Yeah, I'm going to experiment with it a little bit. Try using it. Smells it. like marine, like sea, like beach almost. Yeah, well frankincense comes from a resin, um, a tree resin. So it's actually got a bit of a woodsy, almost fresh scent. So your curls, you've just washed your hair, your yeah. curls are super shiny and defined right now. Wash day is always kind of like, it's a little bit more puffy than it would normally be, but... It looks amazing. Well, thank you. Right, so to get it looking like that, I mentioned the products that I use in the shower. It was those three Pravana products, um, and then I followed up with a little bit of the um, natural scented argan oil. 
So that's our unscented one. That just means that there's no essential oils added to it. So you wash your hair. Mm -hmm. How, like, what do you use to detangle your hair? Well, I mentioned earlier I use the Pravana Leave-In Detangler. And then you put these oils in? And then I put the oils in, yeah. So I also follow up with my staple, that is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Pretty much don't go anywhere without, without this that? stuff. Yeah. It the Curl Enhancing Smoothie is ultra rich, super moisturizing, and also gives you a little bit of um, hold too. So it's oh, really so defining. Delicious. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Really, really defining. And basically what I do is I just section off my hair. I'll grab a dollop, really work it in my hands, and then I'll rake it through, um, rake my fingers through my hair with that. And I'll just do that all over my head. And yeah, that product will never leave my arsenal. So do you ever... <laughs> blow dry your hair? Like, do you use a diffuser to, like, no. pump up the curls? How come? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, guys, I'm just gonna be totally honest with you. I am, I love my life in Toronto. It's so fun. It's so exciting having this new job and working for this awesome company. But I run around I want to so move to Toronto! Much. I know. It's so <laughs> great. Um, home is Toronto. Anyways, I can't be bothered honestly to blow dry it and maybe I'll go back to using a diffuser sometime maybe I'll try actually blowing out my hair to see like but how can't you just is? do it for like a minute or so um, like well okay I'm obsessed with Mono's hair if you guys haven't checked out her YouTube channel you should she is a hair guru she's apparently um, a hairstylist out of New York City and she's got tips on tips on tips yeah, she's like stunning amazing and yeah. she's got hair like Erica's but maybe like fatter looser curls and um, I thought it was really interesting because she talked about uh, using a blow dryer a diffuser to just pump up her curls for more definition blah 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 and a few days ago you were just saying you were wondering how you could make your hair even more defined that might be an option you guys who have naturally curly hair like, ugh, I hate these hair labels, but I'm thinking 3A hair or 3B hair. Like, I don't, like the curly hair. If you have tips on how to even further define your hair, please leave them in the comments section. Erica here wants to know. Yeah, and if you have, like, the lowdown on some natural or, like, cruelty-free detanglers, I always want to know about those as well. Yeah. So. But for now, I think I'm going to stick with the staples and then continue trying out the argan oil in my hair because it seems to really be loving that right now. So one last thing before we sign off, how do you revive your curls throughout the week since you go so long sort of between washes? Like what do you do to revive your curls? Um, I, I do, so I wet them and I don't have a spray bottle I guess. I just wet my hands run my hands through my hair and then I'll wet them again and add some product into my hair. Guess which product I use? Oh <laughs> gee, this one's coming up again. Um, yeah, so I'll just wet my hands and I'll put a dollop of the curl enhancing smoothie in my hair and then I will run that through my hair and it actually does help to re-moisturize it, redefine the curls, but then I also just accept that like it's not gonna look the way it did the first wash day of wash and go day versus like the third or fourth but that's like a really quick and easy way for me to kind of refresh it awesome yeah. by the way i love your choker it's oh. like some sort of rose gold it's so dainty thank you where'd you get it from thank you it's Alyssa's company strap jewelry <laughs> isn't it so nice it's gorgeous i have to say i love it here let me show you how pretty is this oh my god my nails <laughs> I love it. It's really, really pretty. I've been wearing it all the time. I love subtle jewelry. I am not a um, giant jewelry fan, unless it's diamonds. Okay, guys, I guess we'll wrap up this video. So thank you so much, Erica, for thank doing you. another video with yeah, me. Yeah, it's always super fun. I was hoping to do a vlog of my trip to Toronto. I do have some footage. I will work it in <laughs> somehow, but my trips to Toronto are such a whirlwind. I don't I have... Like, I literally don't even have enough time to walk around like a crazy person with my no. camera filming myself. No. But um, Eric and I will be going to uh, the Toronto Men's Fashion Week uh, grand opening that's party. That's going to be so fun. 
this Saturday, and then the following week I will be heading back to Toronto for Toronto Women's Fashion Week. So I will be sure to take more footage then for you guys to see. But for now, happy Sunday. Thank you to Esoterica Thanks, here. Always be sure, nice chatting with you. Be sure to check out her Instagram at underscore Esoterica. I will put all of that information in the description box along with her hair care favorites. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much, guys. Bye, Bye. for now. Bye.